Welcome everyone to the first episode of the South End United Road to Glory on FIFA 14. Now, no, now normally, if you've been paying any attention to my channel, usually in the summertime I start going back playing the old retro FIFAs. But after getting fired on my last four different FIFA 23 career modes, I decided to go on ahead and start that process early. I just bought FIFA, FIFA 14 a couple of days ago since it's the oldest FIFA that I haven't played that I can play. And do stuff with on my PlayStation. So I went ahead and I bought it. So I've never done this before. So it's going to be a little bit rough. It's going to be a little bit choppy. But it should still be a good time. And of course I will be using Southend United. I did think about picking one team to use. And go all the way from FIFA 14 to FIFA 23. But there just wasn't a team that I really liked. And I figured it would be more fun just to kind of experiment. Mess around use different teams in Football League 2 slash EFL League 2. So I mean... Southend United, they're a one-star team. I mean, this is just a pretty basic standard team. I mean, this is how we're going to be lining up to start the season. Playing a 4-4-2, I just don't... I don't feel like midfield-wise, we have the players to not be playing a 4-4-2. And some of our best players are strikers, so... We should be going with the 4-4-2 for this year. First player sold is CD... I don't know how to say that last name, but he sold for 45000 and Youth Academy sending a two-star, two-star scout to England because we don't have a lot of money to sign any players. So hopefully we can get some good, good, good luck from the Youth Academy. Another player has been sold, that is Paul Smith, to Exeter City for a whopping 40 k Kevin Hurst will be going to Doncaster for 190000 Anthony Straker going to Exeter City for 140000 Freddie Eastwood to Stevenage for 200000 and our first, I mean, it's technically a signing, we didn't pay any money for him, but Ahmed Aid El Neni, Egyptian center back, he's 21 years old, don't know his overall, but signing him on a $4,000 wage, it's pretty cheap, he's 21, he's promising, and really might be the only player we can actually sign this year. So then Mark Laird also has some bad news as he has sprained his ankle and he's out for the next three weeks. Which is kind of going to be pretty crucial depending on when our FA Cup tie is. And it turns out it is like the next day. So first round of the FA Cup against Burton Albion at Roots Hall. First official game with the team. Laird has returned in time recovering from that injury. And Corin Reed will be our starting strikers. Midfield looks like that. Back line is the same. Obviously El Nenny is starting. No clue how this game is going to go. I've played maybe eight games of FIFA 14 in my entire life. So, here are the highlights. Here's the opportunity. Oh! It's a turnover in play. Oh, dispossessed. They could be in trouble. Got in with a chance. A wonderful goal and a wonderful time. So, I mean, we won the game 1-0 thanks to that late goal from Atkinson. I mean, it was a pr relatively even game. They did they did get no shots on target, did get a bunch. I still have not really worked out the shooting thing. I mean, even look at the tackles. 22 tackles compared to their four. So, there's obviously a lot of things I still kind of have to learn with this game. But now it's time for the next round of the FA Cup as we are again at Roots Hall as we host Tranmere Rovers. Going for the same lineup. It's our best 11. We just won our last game. Hopefully we can win this game as well. Here are the highlights. The win, aren't they? And this match that's been so tight with this change. Surely he's going to score here. He's gone in strongly and got the ball. Now Reed. So we also won this game 1-0 thanks to a goal from Core in the 66th minute. I mean, as long as we're winning these games, I don't care. Obviously, would like to score a little bit more, but you know, just been so brainwashed by FIFA 23, FIFA 22, 21, where every game is 5-4, 5-3. So we'll take a good one nothing win. And in the table, we are currently sitting in 10th place, only one point off of a promotion playoff spot. So we're in a really good spot heading into the second half of the season. Obviously, you just need a couple of results to go our way, and we can easily get promoted to League One. 
We did get some pretty unfortunate news, though, to start the the month. John White has torn his groin. He's out for three months. He is our starting right back. He is one of our better players at the club. And that is just a poorly timed injury. And we did win Manager of the Month for the month of December. So I mean, we're, we're doing pretty good. Got a player to be sold. That is Mark Phillips to Crew Alexandra for 50k. And Laird did pick up another sprained ankle injury. He's out for three weeks again. And in the round of the FA Cup, we drew against Reading. We're going to sim it. There's no chance we're going to win. But we drew 1-1. Youth Academy, Don Moncourt. English goalkeeper. Really just needs some extra players at the club. Same goes for Dominic McBurney. Hayden Coates might be good, but that overall is just solo. Jamie Hazel. I mean, nothing too special there either. Mikhail Bennett. Same goes for him. And, of course, in the replay, we got 3 owed by Reading. But... It makes sense. They might actually be in the Prem this year. If not, they're a very high overall championship team. And we got some even more injury news as El Elneny tore his calf and he is out for six weeks. As we just cannot stay healthy the second half of the year. And because of that, the results have been suffering. And my job is under scrutiny. But we have a chance to a little bit of redemption here as we face off against Dagenham and Redbridge in League 2. Our lineup is Reed up top along with Payne. Midfield is pretty much the same. Back line, Coker is in for White as he is still injured. Here are the highlights. From our man Jeff Shrews. Jeff. Yes, it looks like it's a calf problem. He's feeling it at the moment, but he hasn't asked to come off. Well, thanks for that news, Jeff. So we also won this game 1-0 thanks to a goal from Payne who really impressed me in this game. So next season and later in this season, really expect him to be a key player. But unfortunately, we did miss out on the promotion playoff spots. I mean, we we had 44 games left to play. Bury had 74. We were on 67 points, I think. So there was no chance we could have gotten up. So I only played that one game at the end. But... It's nice to know we were three points away from having a chance to go up and get promoted. This season, Bentley and Clifford appeared in all but one games in the league for us this year. Craig Reed, leading goal scorer, 18 goals. Pretty good. Leonard had 13 from that left mid position. Very impressive. Core had 11. Reed also tied with Laird for the most assists. So expect Reed to be a key player for us or be sold for a bunch of money. One of the two. And Reed also had... Aside from the one-off game from Agakwa, the highest rating overall as a pretty solid 7 out of 10. And we've played 52 games, won 21, drew 15, lost 16. It's not the greatest of record, but considering where we finished in the league table in our first year, I'm not going to complain. And this is what the team is going to look like for the next season. I don't really know if there's any improvements that we really need to make. I also don't know if we're going to be able to. I think next year, just going to invest in Youth Academy and hope we can get some future stars. But that is going to conclude this first episode of the South End Road to Glory. How these series is going to work, when there's not many important games to play, I'm not going to play them. Like I'm not going to make myself do a template where I have to play five games a year. So, didn't play much this year, but, you know, in the future, if there's three games left, we're in the promotion playoff spot, or we could go down. Then we're going to play a bunch of those games, or European games. But just to start things, it's really just about player building, because realistically, half these games don't matter. I only play the FA Cup games because I like playing them. You know, it's the FA Cup. It's fun. It's magic. But that is going to wrap up this episode. Next episode should be out shortly. Also, if you guys have any tips and tricks, probably not for FIFA 14, because I'll probably have it finished by the time this comes out. But, you know, FIFA 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, let me know. Hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you did. 
and I'll hope to see you all in the next video.